When we refer to someone as yellow, we consider them to be what? Chinese? Not Chinese. Over to Jerry and Murray now. Yes, Jerry. Um, cowardly. Cowardly is correct. Ready, ready. Good evening, my wife. Where did that I'm echo come from? <laughs> there is, you know the story, that becomes, it used to be a paradox, now the time to give it proof about the chap who was signing the legal document, and he carefully made two acts. It was for their educations, you teased them stuff that was And the lawyer real. said, why? He not. said, well, one is for my name and the other is for my Ph.D. <laughs> One of the things that happens, I attended a conference in Denmark a few days ago on world unrest, student unrest. It was a very discouraging conference, full of famous names. There was not one clue in that assembly to what constitutes the causes of unrest. The cause of unrest is the loss of identity. Now, I may forget to tie this into Christianity and the putting on the new man and the loss of the old man and so on. I may forget, so I'll mention it now and keep on. But when you are suddenly confronted with a new technological environment like radio or TV or satellites, when a new environment goes around your entire being and milieu, you lose your identity. You're scrapped. You're thrown on the garbage heap. Every human being has been scrapped. His private identity has been tossed on the junk heap since TV. This applies especially to the young. They have no identity, no goals, no direction. All of those are 19th century concepts and images which have been scrubbed right off the young image by television as a new environment. Now, there's a technological reason for this, which we have time to pursue. The TV is not a pictorial image, it's an iconic image, and it's not a visual form, it's a tactile form, and I have the time in my 20 minutes to go into it. But when you put satellites around the planet, you create a world environment of unprecedented character, the planet becomes a garbage dump. Literally. That is, garbage means clothing. Always has, always will. That's the meaning of the word. Garb, age, is clothing. When you put new clothing around anybody, look at me. I've been junked. When you put satellites around the planet, it literally becomes an old junk heap. It's a museum. Every poor corner of the present planet is now a museum an old archaeological uh, dig. You may have noticed in the headlines the other day that Egypt is now so well supplied with antiques that it's going to dump them onto the world market at a dime a dozen. But when Gutenberg, for example, instead of making value judgments about Gutenberg, I have been engaged in trying to find out what happened. And um, people who have points of view never know anything about what's going on. A fixed position from which to examine everything automatically excludes all the other factors. That's why I wrote a book called Through the Vanishing Point. When you go through the vanishing point, you go into a world of 360 degrees, a total field of action. That's where we live electrically. When you put a new environment around the entire planet, like satellites, the planet becomes a global theater where everybody can do his thing and wear a costume. Jobs are finished. Roles take over. All of you people are heading out into a world, into a world where there are no jobs but only roles. Involvement. Literally, not figuratively, you are going to have to become involved and do your thing in a totally new way, 
the hierarchy of organization chart is dead. Read Peter's Principle by Lawrence Peter. The organization chart is dead. Hierarchy in all, even Vatican II, in consort with that 69, has taught us how hierarchy is yielding to involvement. But the retribalization of man by the new satellite environment has caused us all to enter into role, role playing. The individual, the private individual, is gone. It has nothing to do with ideals, the desirable or the undesirable. It just happened when nobody was looking. It's finished. Now you're moving out into a world of retribalized man where roles remain. The theater of the globe becomes a single classroom for total immersion. Courses are finished. The only mode of learning left for man today is total immersion in the global theater. I used to call it the global village and that is now passe. Events are always way ahead of observers. 